to our old kitchen here in Qingdao, China for our first blown away food video. So what I promise you this video is not going to be is one that's super stylish and it's in a beautiful kitchen with perfect lighting. No, that's not going to be that. However, what it lacks in style, we're going to make up for in substance. We're going to give you a unsweetened, concentrated masala tea recipe that's super unique. And this is one that you will use for the rest of your life and or a version of it. You may tweak it for your individual taste and it is going to make you a superstar with your friends by sharing it with them because it's going to improve their lives also. And it's going to do a lot of things. This is a concentrate, which is a really good thing. And it's unsweetened because we leave the sugar out. We leave the milk out because these are things that will spoil the, uh, the chai. And so, not only will this save you money making this, but it's also going to save you space in the refrigerator. It's going to also add to the shelf life. And this concentrate recipe is really good because it's concentrated. You will be able to use it to make other recipes that have a chai flavor. And what I've done is I've left a link down there for the Bok Ti Chai website. They have a really good recipes page where you can take this concentrate and make all kinds of recipes with it. So it's extremely versatile. Special flavor and it's a copycat of the famous Bok Ti Chai unsweetened concentrate. and it has just a little twist to it. Uh, we believe it has more depth and flavor, and we just believe it's better, but Bok Ti Chai is the king and the first one to really step out and make a special, intense, fiery, fresh ginger tea, and that's what we're gonna do here. Um, using some special techniques that have never been showed before on YouTube. Okay, everybody, so these are the stars of the show for making the blown away chai recipe. Uh, first thing we start out with is the green cardamom. Now, this is an unripened or, yeah, unripened uh, cardamom. It's extremely fragrant. And what you're going to want to do is just crush these. You can crush them with the uh, side of a knife or you can blend them briefly in a spice grinder or mortar and pedestal. You want to get through those uh, the green husks to get to the dark uh, fragrant seeds. Uh, next thing is star anise right here. Uh, that is something you don't see in a lot of uh, chai recipes and it's going to give you a licorice flavor. It's not something you're going to be able to notice really off the top. It's going to be kind of a deep underlying flavor. And it's really important that you have that in there. Even if you're not a big licorice fan, you need to have that in there. Next thing is the clove. This is going to give it a lot of spice. It's a necessity in this whole cloves. Uh, really good. And don't get so hung up about the uh, the quantities on these. You can deviate a little bit and it's still gonna turn out fine. Here are the bay leaves, dry bay leaves. Uh, these are used in garam masala and they are used in this tea and give it more depth. Um, the cinnamon bark. Cinnamon is a bark. Now, a lot of the cinnamon sticks that you see are like shaved and neatly rolled. They're all still bark. This is a little bit rawer looking um, here. And then right here is the coriander seed. And you rarely see these 
in a masala tea recipe. We have them here, again, more depth. And essential is the black pepper. This is gonna give it a deep, hot spice along with the ginger and give it a fiery, spicy flavor to the chai. Then in the middle, we have a piece of nutmeg, and this is optional. And what we're gonna do is take a plane to this, and I'll show you that here a little bit later, and you're just gonna scrape this. You wanna use whole nutmeg because it's a lot fresher instead of powdered, and this is just gonna be a way to powderize that. And that is the fresh ginger. Now this ginger, we're gonna use a special process. Uh, this is 16 ounces of ginger. Now, you don't need to worry about peeling this. We give you a weight because ginger is all kinds of crazy shapes and sizes. So weight is the most accurate guide to go by. Um, yeah, and you don't need to peel this. We're going to blend this in a blender with some water to a fine pulp. And we're gonna add it at a special time. This is one of the special processes with our tea that you won't find anywhere else. And it's one of the things that's gonna make it the best chai that you've ever had. And then last but not least, here it is. This is Red Label, Black Assam Tea. But you can use other kinds of black tea to go with it too if you can't find this. If you can, try to find this, but don't sweat it. Uh, the same amount of fermented black tea. You can use English breakfast. You can use Irish breakfast, even Earl Grey. Now that's gonna add a bergamot flavor to it. Uh, but again, this is to give you a base where you can experiment and develop your own taste. So here are the ingredients. Right here, take a look at them, and believe it or not, we're gonna infuse all of this into two quarts of concentrate. So it's gonna be super flavorful and yummy, and you've never had. Here are the things that you're going to need in order to make this recipe. Right here we have a teffel, is the name of it, six liter pressure cooker. And this is just the old style with the lid. I apologize for it being a little dirty. It's kind of permadirt. I use this a lot. And this is a great item to use it in. You could also use an Instapot which has become really popular. It's just a simplified electronic version of this. But the key is with this is it cuts down on the cooking time and it traps all of the flavors inside of the tea. Problem is when you <clears throat> smell the tea cooking and you're like, oh, that's a wonderful smell. That is flavor escaping into the air that needs to be in the tea. And that is one of the reasons why we use a pressure cooker. This is a big deal right here. Make sure you use one. Then we're gonna need a food scale. This happens to be an Ikea food scale. You're gonna wanna weigh your ginger because ginger is just in all kinds of crazy shapes and sizes. And the best way to do this is to weigh it. We're gonna need some spoons here. And I've got a teaspoon and a tablespoon. We're also gonna need a metal strainer. Once we finish cooking the chai, we're gonna wanna strain out all of the solids. And uh, just any kind of strainer will do. This is a four cup measuring cup right here. And this is one of the things you're gonna use with the strainer to strain the tea into. Plus you're gonna use this to measure out the water for the tea recipe. And one thing that is super essential is a blender. Secret process that we're gonna use 
with the ginger is we're gonna use a blender to get it into a pulp form so that it can be steeped in the tea after it's cooked and give you an intense, fresh, fiery, hot, spicy ginger flavor. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is add six cups of water. I'll put the liter equivalent down the lower left-hand corner. And here is the last two cups. Now the remaining two cups are gonna be used in the blender to blend the ginger. So if you want to adjust this recipe, as you can see, this pot can make a lot of cha tea concentrate. Just divide by two if you wanna make less or multiply if you wanna make more. This is for uh, two quarts. Now the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is take our Assam tea right here and just pour this into the water. Super easy to make this from here on out. And then over here, we have all of our spices. And with the exception, whoops, I'm about to make this mistake. Let's take out the nutmeg, <clears throat> the black cardamom, because we aren't going to use it this time. We just want to take all of this and toss it in there and then we're going to grate up the nutmeg we use a plain right here you may have seen one of these uh, you can use it to on um, ginger also dried spices and then here's some nutmeg that i've already started using and you want to use the pod of nutmeg instead of uh, the ground if you can because this is so fresh and you don't want to sweat over how much you're going to add of this we don't have to go crazy with this just kind of do it till it feels good you can see the wind blowing here <laughs> into the kitchen it's blowing all around the place so what we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to take put the lid on the pressure cooker and lock it in place and then we're going to come over here and put it on the gas burner and we want to cut this thing up to high and we are going to want to keep this on high until we start getting some steam out of the top of this and then we're going to want to cut it down to a simmer and leave it on there for five minutes at full temperature Okay, so you can hear it. We've got the steam coming out. You really need to get a pressure cooker if you've never used one. All right, we've let it cool down for about 10 minutes. And now it's time to pop the top off. I'm trying to do this all with one hand and then just look inside at the tea that's been formed. So it's hot right now. We're gonna let that sit and now we're going to prepare the ginger, which is a special preparation. Can't wait to show you. And we're going to take the remaining two cups of water, which we have here, and we're going to do it in a couple of batches because we've got a lot of ginger. Now, you may have a bigger blender. This is just a super basic blender. Uh, no need to peel it. This revolutionary process gives you that ginger juice flavor and extracts the most fresh ginger and also putting it in at the very end keeps that hot fiery ginger flavor so this is so easy we don't even peel it we just crank it a little bit take a look at that let's cut it up take this out and you can see it's just all ground up and let's put that in there with the rest and then it's still hot and it's steeping away 
And let's take a spoon and just mix it up there. Oh yeah. And we're gonna leave it here for maybe 20 minutes and just let it cool down and get all the extraction into the tea. Just look at the intensity of this and all the flavor that's in here. We're gonna strain this out <clears throat> soon, but you can tell this is not gonna be your ordinary chai tea. It's super concentrated and that's a good thing. Tea has been steeping for about 10 minutes. It's all ready to go, so all you have to do is take your strainer and just a bowl. And this is really low tech, but it's gonna work just fine. And then take this and go ahead and pour. And just look at all the ginger and tea. That is gonna make the best chai that you've ever had in your life, trust me. So let's just go ahead and pour all of that into there. Man, yeah, this is not piecemeal, run of the mill type chai. This is the best stuff that you've ever had. So I'm doing this just with one hand, so it's kind of crazy. But, uh, the, oh, by the way, all of this, after you've uh, done with that, makes great compost. Take it out in the garden, mix it in with the soil. Um, so we're just gonna pull this out right here. And wow, look at what we got there. wonderful stuff and I'm gonna take this and stick this over here for the time being and we are gonna pour this into our refrigerator container and then finish off by putting this back in here and then we're gonna take we're gonna press that with, I don't know, just anything. I've got this right here. Just give it a good press. Try to extract all that extra goodness so you don't waste any of it. You have your own techniques. I've got mine. It all depends on the equipment that you have. This is really low tech. I'll probably do something better, but I haven't. Look, look what we saved there. So I'm gonna pull this back over to here and then we're gonna pour this back in. Wow, look at that. Oh, look at that goodness. There are gonna be some solids of ginger in there, which you're gonna be tasting when you get to the bottom of your cup. You're gonna love it. There, there it is. Doctor Babulaku, each hoy tonic, Labor Analaku, Tini Lady Thalu, Vijar Dula Tadulaku, Tini Levita Milde. I'm not going to call it fluid, it is nectar. And look at the little, um, get it here so the reflection's not so great the little bits of ginger that are in there, and those things are going to be in your tea. There's probably some solids down there too that are gonna be in there, but look how opaque and dense this is. And it's just delicious. And you're gonna add this to milk in just the concentration that you want. Now, if you want to uh, put some sugar in this and sweeten it, now's a good time to do that. And you can just dissolve sugar in um, hot water, or you can put the sugar in um, the pot while it's still hot right when you open it up. And that's a good time to sweeten it if you want to sweeten the whole batch. 
but I recommend leaving this in your refrigerator unsweetened so that you, it will last longer in the refrigerator and it'll take up less space. Better shelf life all together and just sweeten uh, when you mix it with milk or whatever. Also, one of the simplest way of mixing this is with milk. I recommend milk. With the chai, it gives it a richness. Um, it really completes it. Uh, whole milk is the best, but you know, if you're a vegan, you can use uh, almond milk, you can use coconut milk, you can use uh, soy milk. It's gonna taste great with this. It just gives it a little bit of fat and a compliment to the flavor. And then one thing that I love to use is this right here. Trader Joe's 100% steep. The one thing that I lean and I like to do after a long bike ride or some hiking, we've really worked our muscles, is we like to incorporate this blown away chai tea into our recovery drink. So what we use, and you can use any brand, I'll show you what we use, is a vanilla whey protein powder. And this is the one that we use it's right here. It's Cynthia 6. It's got a great flavor to it, but any will work. And then what we do is we take milk and you can just use water if you want to. This makes it extra creamy. It's whole milk. We put that in there. We put some ice to make it extra cold and frothy, almost like a milkshake. And then we come in here and do one full scoop for about this amount, more for, let I me mean, just do it to taste and what type of recovery you're hoping to achieve, how hard have you worked. And then to make it a little easy, we're just gonna use this as a ladle and come in here like this and put that in there. Now, I'll blend it up, we'll try it, and if we need to add a little bit more, we can do that to our taste. Let's get this thing cranking. And that should do it. And what we have there is just a creamy, frothy chai, vanilla, protein, delicious, thick, wonderful drink. So that's one use. I've never seen this uh, on YouTube. We absolutely love it. Ah. It's just really good. And what I like about it too is it's sweet, but they don't use sugar. So it's creamy, sweet, and it's nutritious and good for your recovery. You really need to give this thing a try. It's awesome. Because I want to be thank Bach Tea Chai for doing such a great job inspiring me to make this tea a long time ago. Um, that's really something that I just enjoy every single day. Okay, everybody. Thanks for watching this first food video. I know it wasn't perfect. Uh, I'm my own cameraman. Uh, it's a bit of a disaster in certain uh, places, and I'm sure I'll read, read about that in the comments. Please communicate with me. I'd be happy to help you with this. And uh, make sure you like this. Put a lot of work into it, believe it or not. Uh, subscribe to the station for more unique videos uh, that you'll be able to use both travel and adventure and also very unique food videos and please make sure to share this with your friends do them the favor so that they can give this a shot they can save money they can have a delicious hot or cold beverage at any time that they like chai tea really uh, once you try this you'll see and it's worth the extra trouble you'll see it's I think it's the best one on the market and I hope you do too. So please leave those comments down below. Thanks guys. It's been a pleasure.
మసాలా టీ అంటే అది తింతును రామైకం లెమ్మన్ టీ కొడితే ఇక లేసి మటుమాయి సినిమా హాళ్ళల్లో విశ్రాంతి వేళల్లో తప్పకుండా తాగేది ఏంటి టీ కొట్టుతోనే బతుకుతారు కొందరు టీ కొడితేనే బతుకుతారు అందరు చాయ్ తడుక్కున తాగరా భాయ్ ఈ చాయ్ చమక్కులే చూడరా భాయ్ and touch that